Okay, so let's say, for example, you're asked to approximate the value of this function, f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 5, at x equals 3.25 without a calculator. All right, so first of all, if I was asked to do that and didn't know this about calculus, what I would do is I would convert 3.25 to a fraction. Uh, that makes those numbers a lot easier to deal with when you have to square something. It's easier to square a fraction than a decimal, um, so forth and so on. Uh, that would be number one. But there is this nifty little thing in calculus that we can do. So I have uh, the function x squared minus 3x minus 5 graphed there in blue. And then I have an additional line, y equals 3x minus 14, that is also graphed. Uh, what seems to be the relationship between those two functions? The green one is the tangent line where? The green one is 3.25. At x equals 3. Okay. The green one is the tangent line at x equals 3. Um, which would be kind of hard to, to see just by looking at the graph because it does look like it touches at several places here. Um, but it is indeed at 3. Now, if you can figure that out, like the integrator is what you have 3, is what the slope is in, um, in the entire equation of y. So, they will ask you to approximate the value of a function on a P exam. They will approximate. Uh, and so it turns out that you can use the tangent line through a point close to the value in question. So if they were asking me to approximate this at 3.25, I would not want to uh, take my tangent line at x equals 1 and use that to approximate the value. Uh, that would be a big mistake because the tangent line at 1 isn't even heading in the correct direction. Tangent line one will have a negative slope. That would not give me a good approximation for the value of the function up here at 3.25. Notice that at about 3.25, this tangent line is almost essentially the same as the curve. It's really, really close at that point. Obviously, the further away from it we get, the further um, the tangent line is from the curve. So we wouldn't want it to. We wouldn't want to use it to approximate the value at 5. Uh, there's a big gap between the curve and the tangent line at 5. Uh, but really, even up to 4, it's not a very bad approximation. Uh, and over here, over to 2, that's still fairly close um, in terms of approximating. So you want to pick a value that's close to the value of the question. So let's actually approximate this value. For this function, x squared minus 3x minus 5 at x equals 3.25. Now, you know from what I just showed you that the tangent line at 3 is 3x minus 14, um, but let's go through the process of actually writing that line. Okay, um, we need to take the derivative of our function, that's prime of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, that is the derivative. Remember, the derivative gives us the slope of the tangent line. It is not the tangent line itself. So if we're wanting to approximate for 3.25, uh, let's use 3. So that means we need the value of the derivative at 3, and we also need the value of the function at 3. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start with the derivative at 3. So 2 times 3 minus 3, that's 6 minus 3. Okay, so that's our slope. You may want to label it as slope. We need a point, so we need f of 3. So we need to go back to the original. 3 squared minus 3 times 3 minus 5. Well, that's nice. 3 squared minus 3 times 3, those are the same thing. So 3, negative 5 is our point. So our tangent line is y plus 5 is equal to 3 times x minus 3. Now the equation that I gave you in the uh, example there in, in the introduction was in slope intercept form. But to be honest, most of the time it's easier to take it from this point to find the approximation uh, because your number is going to be close to the x value. 
Um, so it's a lot easier to just do 3.25 minus 3, which is 0.25, or 1 fourth. And we have 3 times 1 fourth, that gives us 3 fourths, or 0.75. And then subtract 5, so we get y is equal to negative 4.25. If I look back at my picture, I should write that down. I look back at the picture. Uh, that's pretty close. Right in here. Okay, it's just below negative 4. So, negative 4. Negative 4.25 is a pretty good um, approximation. Now, uh, because I have my calculator, I can check the exact value, okay, but they will give these to you on the calculator inactive portion of the exam, I promise you. And the exact value is negative 4.1875. So, pretty close, but it, it, it will be a little bit off, okay? But the closer you get to 3, the closer that approximation is going to be. All right, let's do another one. Let's look at a square root. We are going to approximate the value of the square root of x cubed plus 1 at x equals 1.9. So this is very handy um, because cubing a decimal and then adding one, we can do that. It'll take us a little bit of time. We can do that by hand, but we really don't have a good way of taking the square root of that by hand. Uh, we would have to rely upon the calculator to find uh, the exact value, but if we can write a tangent line, then it's really not that bad. Okay, so let's write the equation of the tangent line. We gotta take the derivative, f prime of x, that would be one half times x cubed plus 1 to the negative 1 half times, got to do the chain rule, 3x squared. There's not really a simplifying that we can do here, so I'm just going to leave that be for a second. Um, if we're trying to approximate this at 1.9, what x value do you think we should choose here? <coughs> 2. All right, 2 is the closest whole number, so I'm going to take, I'm going to plug in 2 into my derivative. Got 1 half times 2 cubed plus 1 to the negative 1 half times 3 times 2 squared. Uh, 2 cubed plus 1 is 9, and 9 to the negative 1 half, well that's the square root of 9 in the denominator, so that is... 3 times 3 times 4, so our 3's cancel, and then we've got 1 half times 4, which is 2. So that's our slope of our tangent line. We need uh, a point, so we know the x-coordinate is 2, we need the y-coordinate. So the y-coordinate would be the square root of 2 cubed plus 1, which we just did a second ago, which is 3. So our tangent line is y minus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 2. Plug in our value of question, 1.9. Y minus 3 is equal to 2 times uh, negative 0.1. So we add 3 to negative 0.2. That gives us 2.8. I'm going to check that since we do have, since I do have calculators here. 1.9 cubed plus 1. This is a very close one. Uh, 2.803. Very close approximation here um, on this one. Okay. Questions? Thank you.
Inheritance. 